Hi, and welcome to this lesson on constant acceleration. In this lesson, we will learn how to derive two of the Suvat formulae from the velocity time graph. The standard set of letters used in the Suvat formulas are S for displacement, U for the initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration, and T is the time. I have underlined the S, U, V, A because these are vectors and t is a scalar form. The acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So the gradient of a line in a velocity time graph is representing the acceleration. To calculate the gradient we need the change in the y direction over the change in the x direction. If u represents the initial velocity and v the final velocity, our gradient or the formula for the acceleration will become v minus u over t. Making v the subject of this formula result in one of the Suvat equations, v equals u plus at. When we divide the unit of the y direction and the x direction, meter per second divided by second, that results in meter per second squared. This matches with the unit of the acceleration. Now, if you look at the area unit, if we times the two units, we will have meter per second times second, which is equal to meters. The area under the line, which is in the shape of a trapezium, represents the displacement. The formula of a trapezium is the average of the two parallel sides times by the perpendicular height. u plus v over 2 times t. This is another of our Suvat formulae. You must know how to derive these two Suvat formulae in an exam. A cyclist is travelling along a straight road. She accelerates at a constant rate from a velocity of 4 m per second to a velocity of 7.5 m per second in 40 seconds. Find the distance she travels in these 40 seconds. We know the initial velocity u is equal to 4 m per second, final velocity v is 7.5 m per second, t is 40, we don't know the displacement. Using the formula for the displacement, s is equal to 4 plus 7.5 over 40, and this is equal to 230 meters. Conclusion, she travels 230 meters in these 40 seconds. For part b, we need to find the acceleration. Using the formula v equals u plus at, replacing the v, u and t, rearrange it, we get a is equal to 0.085 meter per second squared. A particle moves in a straight line from point a to point b, with constant deceleration 1.5 meter per second squared. The velocity of the particle at A is 8 meter per second and the velocity of the particle at B is 2 meter per second. Find the time taken for the particle to move from A to B. In mechanics questions it's always advisable to start with a diagram. Drawing a line from A to B, noting the positive direction, the U, the V, the acceleration and we don't know T. We can work out T by using the formula V equals U plus AT. Replacing the values will give us t equals 4 seconds. For part b, we need to find the distance from a to b. We can now use the trapezium formula. Replacing the values, we will have 8 plus 2 divided by 2 times 4 is equal to 20 meters. For part c, we have a change in situation. We know that it took 6 seconds to get from a to c. The question is what is the velocity? Using the formula v equals u plus at, replacing the values, we know the u is 8, a is minus 1.5, remember direction matters so a is equal to negative, the final velocity at c is equal to minus 1 meter per second squared. This means that the particle is moving backwards, is going from right to left, from c to b. We can now write a conclusion. The velocity of the particle at c is 1 meter per second in the direction c to b. We could also write this as the velocity of the particle at c is 
minus 1 meter per second in the direction B to C. And notice the vector notation on top of the BC and CB. And finally part D, we need to find the distance from A to C. Using the trapezium formula, S equals U plus V over 2 times T. Replacing the values of U, V and T, noticing that the V is equal to minus 1 from the previous point, we find that S is equal to 21 meters. The distance between A and C is 21 meters.